Swaddling is an age-old technique which has been used in various cultures since a very long time. Swaddling literally means wrapping your baby in a soft cloth. It can be a soft cotton muslin cloth or a, a very soft blanket. This is to provide the warmth to the baby and to prevent his startle reflexes which are the random arm movements from disturbing him in his sleep. Welcome to Honey Bunny Online. In today's video, we are going to talk to you about five major reasons as to why you should swaddle your baby. Before we go into the details, please do subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up if you like the topic of the video. So let's get started. When the baby is in the womb, he is really very snug, his arms are closed and he is in a closed environment. You might have seen in the last ultrasounds that he hardly has any space to move. So when he comes to this world, he is in a new wide open environment which is a sudden change for the baby. So by swaddling, what we are trying to do is to provide him the same safe feeling the same warmth and the same closed environment that the baby is already used to. We are trying to reduce his anxiety and make him feel more comfortable and more secure. Like for example, even if we are given a sudden change in our environment, if we are if we are just asked to sleep in a different bedroom, we are sometimes a bit anxious and not, not so comfortable. Same is true with the baby. A swaddled baby is a better sleeper because he is not disturbed by his random involuntary arm movements which disturb him in his sleep. Like you might have noticed sometimes your baby just shivers or just wakes up because of any random arm movement and he just cries without any reason. So swaddling can prevent all those factors and help him sleep for a longer span of the time rather than waking up every five minutes, crying a bed and then going down to sleep. Some parents just don't like the idea of swaddling their baby. It gives them that feeling that they are trying to restrict their baby's movements and not helping him develop his muscular uh, strength and his coordinated limb, limb movements. But it is the other way around because in the initial few weeks all the arm movements and uh, limb movements are random and involuntary. They are not adding up in any way to your baby's coordinated movements. Swaddling actually helps develop better coordinated limb movements. A swaddled baby would cry less. It is so obvious because we are, we, are, we are trying to make the baby comfortable in every possible way. We are trying to feed him in on time. We are giving him a nice burp. We are trying everything. We are having the white noise in the room and trying to do everything that can suit the baby. And all these factors work better on a swaddled baby. It has been proved in researches that swaddling reduces the crying by 28% which is really really considerable. Now let's talk about the most important reason as to why we should swaddle our baby. Swaddling prevents and reduces the risk of SIDS. Now what is SIDS? SIDS is Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Two of the major reasons that are associated with SIDS are number one the baby accidentally cover his, covers his face with a bedding like something gets struck a blanket or anything gets struck in his fist and he covers his face and is unable to remove it while sleeping and the second one is he flips over and is sleeping on his tummy and which can block his airway Swaddling makes it totally hard and nearly impossible for the baby to accidentally cover his face with a bedding or a pillow or anything. And the second thing is a swaddled baby has a lesser chances of turning over and flipping onto his tummy while sleeping. But there is a word of caution here 
that you should keep a close eye on very early signs to see if your baby is able to flip while he's swaddled because it can be very 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 dangerous if the baby is sleeping on his tummy while being swaddled a uh, general rule of thumb is you can safely swaddle your baby till the time he reaches um, four to six weeks of age but again do keep a close eye on the signs as to is is your baby nearly ready to flip over uh, if you see any of those signs just you can just immediately stop swaddling him we have done another video talking about uh, um, how to swaddle your baby and the different kind of fabrics that you can use to swaddle your baby uh, i've uh, given the link in the description box below you can check it out there Please do share your experiences of swaddling your baby in the comment section below and subscribe to our channel and share the video with all your friends who are going to be parents are or who are new parents. We really hope this video helps. Enjoy yourself. Happy parenting.